Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today's video is, uh, I've, I've, I've alluded to it several times um, in some of my shares at the earlier stages of my, my, my channel. Um, but today I'll zero in on it. I'll be talking to you for a few minutes on it. And the topic is uh, abortion amongst uh, live bearing fish. Okay, so you have a live bearing fish and it looks as if it's going to be popping anytime soon. You can actually see the black spots actually moving if you actually look good. Um, although, you know, EJ Brinninger have actually shared with me that it's not all black spots um, really signify that uh, your fish is with fry, right? Some fish actually have that dark gravid spot. But this dark black gravid spot is what I use to actually... Uh, mark that my, my, my live bearer is about to give birth. So the, the, the live bearer is in a community tank and in this community tank you have other species of fish. You have probably you have some um, some other live bearers like probably let's say that is a guppy about to give birth. So you have like mollies, sword tail, probably be, you might end up um you know you're a novice you're a newbie so you end up putting probably two curry catfish in it which i i would disagree with that totally um probably you might even end up with uh two uh slow swimming fish um in it also right so you have this live bear about to give birth and it is trying to find a space where in it it feels comfortable to release the fry uh, whether you believe it yes or no, uh, there is some connection between um, the, the tummy, the fries, and the, the, the female about to give birth. A lot of the female is known to eat its fries after a lot of female is known to eat its fries after giving birth after a few minutes. However, there is some connection there. So let's say that the, the female uh, live bearer is in a position where it, it feels frightened or it feels bullied. Or it feels as if um, it, the, the, it's not safe to release fries. Uh, the live bearer will practically uh, decide to give to have what I call stillbirth. Yeah, the live bearer is equipped with that 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 thing in its end that it can actually tell the body to actually expel the fry um, whilst the sp the, fry, the fry is not really ready, quite ready to be expelled from the body so you might see some dead fries floating on the top of your aquarium and knowing some fish how they stay they do not like to consume uh dead stuff they like them when they are moving so even if the fries are moving a little bit they're, they're born with a little bit of movement community ah well the, the, the tank mates we probably might nudge at them but being it that um, they are born still, you know, still birth, or they practically they are bought the birth, um, or in some in some instance, what they the, what they what they are, and this is some so amazing, guys. The live bearer can do. The live bearer can be ready to give birth, but it decides that it's not going to give birth, and it's like the, 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 it's about to give birth. The, the fries are about to come down. And the live bear can tell its mind or tell its body not to let it come down and the fries just go up into the, 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 the female, right? And it's reabsorbed into the female um body. Uh yes, uh, practically you have to say it, it passes out as waste, right? Yeah, the the, the, the live bearers can do that, right? Also a point to note, live bearing fish in can also um determine when and when it's gonna have babies. Have its fry, right? Um, so imagine um females, human, right, they um they go through the cycle. And if the the, the, the eggs are not fertilized, you not. But it's I think you have about three or some persons have some weird cycles. But let's work with 28 for the time being. After 28 days, if the egg is not um fertilized within the female body, it passes out as what I call menstruation, right? And um that's it. So you have men, if men have sex with um, women and um, the, the, the sperms go inside of the lady, um, it, it, there's a window in which the, the, the sperm can actually live uh, within the, the, the human female, right? I think that window is about probably about three to four days, right? The sperm can actually live within the female, right? 
Did you know that uh, live bearers, guppy, so tail, platy, uh, to name a few, can actually store the mint of the meal for up to 78 months? Right? So you might buy a, a so tail female. One so tail female, and usually they're always pregnant, or they have the mint inside of them. So you, you don't have to buy a male and a female um, if you intend to, right, let's say, keep them and allow them to breed, right? Uh, I, I've spoken about that in, in other videos, right? Um, so you have the female, it's the only female fish that you actually purchase at the pet shop because you like the color. Let's say a so tail, a huge so tail, three inch so tail, and it looks um, very slim. But you know say it's a female and you put it into a, a nice small aquarium and probably place a little plant in it hornwort right or probably a pla place guppy grass or probably a place um densia or uh, whatever plant you can actually think of right now out of your head right and what you realize is that after about say six weeks you realize that the fish population within that small aquarium start to multiply it's not that you, you have the fish actually having um, sex with itself. It's not that the fish is hermaphrodite. It's the fact that the fish can actually store the mint. So wherever the fish was before you actually purchase it, right? Um, the fish actually um, got mint into its system because you all know that um, live bearers are horny set of fish. I mean, guppies, I have some guppy male, and the guppy males are always sticking it to the female. The female collect the mint, keep the mint for several months, right? So each day, the several months start over. So uh, you might see the guppy uh, um, pregnant. It depends on whether or not it feels comfortable. So uh, in a sense, you might say that you have a single guppy in a, in a space, and you realize that the guppies just keep on producing, 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 and there's no male. Uh, the reason for that is because it, it have actually stored up his mint. Now, coming back to the story, uh, they, 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 talking about abortion, right, um, amongst um, Liberian fish, uh, a Liberian fish can actually abort the child, or should I say fry, right? It can actually reabsorb the fry, and it can actually uh, have uh, what I call still birth, right? The fries are actually born dead. Uh, so, in preparing for your aquarium, um, I'm gonna jump a little bit backwards as to what I shared with you a few months ago. Um, in several videos I've done it, so um, don't ask me which video, right? Um, if you're gonna keep live bearing fish and you're going to start off now, you don't need to get a lot of fish to put in that aquarium. You just need one female, place it in the aquarium with a lot of grass, or should I say, with a lot of plants, with filtration system, and just sit and wait. What you might do, you might end up get a male and a female, and end up the female might die because the male is going to be very horny, running around. Um, running, running, chasing the female around, the female is gonna get tired about all the babies until eventually it just skin over and dead, right? So the best way to do that is to just get one female, ensure that it's a female, place it into a, it can be a large space, a small space, whatever, right? And just watch it develop and watch your aquarium develop from one fish to hundreds using just one, right? And the best thing to do is to separate the mother, uh, the female. From the rest of the, the fish uh, because you don't want any crossbreeding there although you can still end up having it but um you don't want the fries to be eaten by the mother uh a lot of going around going around going around but i hope that you understand what i'm saying uh it's a very fun, funny world out there when you talk about uh uh live bearing fish uh stay tuned for another video next time catch you peace out bye, 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 bye.